I'm good. You? Yeah, very well. Very well. Thanks. Um, first off, just want to start. How excited are you to be making your matchroom debut on an Anthony Joshua undercard to finish off this year? I'm very happy. I have been waiting for this moment. Of course, I think every every fighter in UK will be very happy to fight in Joshua's other card. I think all the eyes of the UK public will be in Saturday night, and I will I will give my best to steal the show. Lauren, you have an outstanding fan base. You have people all over who watch you. Um, how pleased are you that there's going to be a certain element of fans in there, a thousand fans to watch you? Yes, but the problem is I don't think I will have uh, my fans, you know, because when uh, the tickets were announced, uh, I, ha I wasn't uh, yet in the card, you know. I, I, my fight was announced two days after the... But I'm very happy, happy that we will have some crowd. 1,000 people is enough only for the noise, you know, because this, this noise, these people make us feel like a gladiator. I'm very happy for, for that. How much do we think? You, how much do you think you've shown the boxing public in terms of your skills? You're obviously you're known for knocking people out and running straight through people. Do you believe that you've got another seven, eight percent to show? I haven't shown nothing. I haven't show. I have shown my twenty percent. You know, when the fight, when the big fights come, then I will show my level and what I'm capable of. When the things got 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 uh, hard, you know, when the fights go go hard, but. It's not. This is not my 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 problem. Is I, I I have I want the best fighter. You know, they have pulled out so many fighters. It's difficult for me to find a, a good opponent with a good record because they doesn't put their record with me. You know, they are afraid that they lose. I'm not afraid. I have bigger fan base from most of uh, UK fans. You know, I have a lot of things to lose, but I I don't care. I believe in myself. I say. Let's fight. If you win me, you, you, a lot of Albanians will, will know you. All my fans will know you. you know? I have 11 years. I, never, I, I didn't lose. And, and this is a problem. One fighter that you're continuously linked with is Conor Ben. Now, I know you're making your debut, but I just wanted to touch on this. Recently, he said that you don't bring much to the table in terms of where he's at. But what's your response to that? Because obviously, you have got your large following and you are currently growing. And now that you're with Matchroom, this fight should be a lot easier to make, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the only thing that uh, he, he make mistake, I bring much more than than him and uh, all his fights together. I can sell, I can sell much more tickets than he have sell in all his fight. What he have, he have only from his father. You you all saw his last fight. They choose. They are very carefully who they choose to fight him. You know, they are not stupid. They are smart because they do, they wanted to grow him up, but. Conor Ben is not a good level. He gets hit a lot in the head, and they will, they, they will be, he will be exposed very soon. Uh, me with him, this fight will happen very soon because when the UK fans realize me, I'm coming. Hopefully, uh, I will win my next fight. The UK fans they will love this fight and they will push their things. If Conor doesn't doesn't want it, and also then then I don't care because my target, my my, I don't I don't see Conor like my biggest. No, Conor is. One number in my record, nothing else. I, I don't I don't rate him like a fighter or something when I beat him that I will be wow. No, I don't care about him. And finally, you fight on Saturday. How does this fight end? Do you end it inside the distance again? I uh, know. I hope. I, I I think inside of three rounds. Respect to everyone that step in the ring. I don't want to 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 be like a egoist or something, but. If this guy is not on my level and I will show them all in Saturday, you know, my desire to win and to achieve what I have been dreaming from a small kid is very, very big. And these guys cannot handle that when I'm in the ring with them. Right, well, thanks for your time, Florian, and good luck for Saturday. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Matt. If we go to Andy from Boxing Social next, please. Hi, Florian. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. And you? I'm good, mate. I'm good. Um... Talk to me about Alex Florian. What exactly do you know about him? What have you studied about him? And what are you expecting from him? I saw, I think I saw some videos of him. He's a southpaw. He's a, she, she, she have a nice jab, moving nice, but I don't think I will break him down. Body or, or, or the head very soon. Hopefully inside of two rounds. And then we have bigger fight in January. But we will announce it 
we will announce it after. We've gotten used to seeing you produce very destructive displays and bring in a lot of excitement to everybody who tunes in to watch you. Now, are you hitting that point where do you want people to test you a bit more? Do you want a few more rounds instead of maybe just winning in the side the first few rounds? You know what I want? I want a good fighters, a top fighters that the UK fans rate them, but with a good record. I don't want shit record that they, with a good fighters, you know, because nobody will give me credit when I beat them. I want top fighters. Give me whoever you want, whoever they want. But she have a good record. She is really rate, rated in the UK, and uh, his uh, his uh, style is tough. Give me the, these guys, but don't give me guys that they have like ten losses. I will beat them. We say by knockout. Nobody will care. They say and ten more, ten, ten other guys beat them. That's why I want the best fight. But respect that I want good guys with a good record, and I don't care Chris Congo, Josh Kelly, Conor Ben, Ryla Charlton, whoever is in front of me. You will see my level. Because this is the fight that public and me, I want. It's not my fault that these guys that they bring me is bad level. You know, they doesn't accept. These big guys, they doesn't accept. You mentioned Ryland Charlton. There was a lot of kind of back and forth between your team and his team and some interviews going out about that fight. Um, where exactly did things land with that? Where did the negotiations get to? Uh, my management team, CM Boxing, Sam Jones, are talking with them. They... They are negotiating, I think, for they, they want me to lose like three pounds to fight them. No problem. If they want me to lose this pound, I will lose it for them and I will go to fight them wherever they want. Ryland Charlton, for me, he is the, he's another good fighter. He is a small midget, a bodybuilder, you understand? And when, I'm, I, when I will be in the ring with him, I will show to the public that he, she have talked a lot. She have, I, I see him. I don't understand why why they talk because when they are in the ring with me they change their minds. Somebody you you will meet this week, Macaulay McGowan. He's boxing on this card. Um, he boxes at super welterweight, but he said he wants to drop it well to welterweight. We spoke to him Who just before you, Macaulay McGowan. He's fighting Kieran Conway um, on Saturday night on the Anton Joshua undercard. So you'll see him this week. He said that after his fight, he would like to drop to welterweight. And he mentioned he'd like to fight you. He's, he called you a small midget and he didn't agree with you calling out everybody other than people like himself. Um, taking that into consideration, I know you may not know much about him, but when you see him, will you be interested in maybe having a fight with somebody like him? I don't have idea who this guy is, you know, but I don't care. I fight everyone. When Sam, my team, arrange it and this guy... Is good for me, for my career, and you know, she have a good record, of course. We fight them. Florian, I don't have an idea who this guy is. Mm -hmm. um, he's fighting on the cards. So I'm sure you'll bump into him this week. I will see him. That's my last one from me, so best of luck on Saturday. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thanks, Andy. If you go to James Lupton from Pro Boxing Fans, please. Hi, Florian. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. And you? I'm very good, thank you. Um, just a couple from me. Um, we know you're a confident fighter, you're confident in your own ability, but with the <coughs> of Matram and Eddie Hearn now, does that fill you with more confidence going forward in your career? Yes, I'm very happy because Eddie Hearn for me, I don't want to, to say many, but Eddie Hearn for me, when I was a kid, it was like to fight in these shows that Eddie Hearn, it was a, a dream, you know? Because this is where the good fighters, the big fighters fight. When you want to be famous and to, to win world titles, this is the, the only way, the only road. And I'm happy that I will take part on this organization. And trust me, people will, they will not forget me. And I will put my show, I will put my name out there and they will not forget me. You mentioned a moment ago about your opponent, Alex Fearon. You feel he's not on your level. Obviously, you're still very early on in your career. How much learning do you learn in these fights or do you feel you're ready for the next level already? <clears throat> I think I learn more from my, from my sparrings than, than my fights because these fights, all my guys, uh, listen, all my guys that I have fight, my last five fights, they have positive records. One guy have 13-1. I don't, I don't fight journeymen, you know, like the other guys that they does. But I, I make this guy look, look bad. When I fight them, that's why the people say, uh, but if you put these guys with other guys, they will see that they are not so bad. But I'm on another level. I, I believe in myself that I'm different level and I will show them when the big fights come and the good guys come that I'm different. Because 
I can I can talk how much I want. When the time comes, I will do one what I say. True. You mentioned when the big fights come. You've already said Conor Ben, Josh Kelly, <coughs> Congo. Realistically, when can they, those fights happen? And have you discussed with your management team when they will happen? Uh, hopefully next year, if the things goes how we have planned. I think next year we will have big fights. And finally from me, obviously you mentioned already yourself there, it's a big show, Anthony Joshua. It's something that a lot of boxers dream of over here in Britain to be appearing on the undercard. How pleased are you first of all to be on the show? And can I get a prediction for Joshua Pulev from you? I think, uh, first of all, Joshua will, uh, will stop Pulev. I like Joshua. I like his comeback. I like his confidence. And I think he will not have problem. He will take his distance with Pulev, with his jab. I think he will stop him inside of seven, six, seven rounds. I'm very happy to fight in this show. To tell you the truth, back home in Greece, in Albania, they have, again, they have got mad, the news and the things, because it's very important to fight in one, one of these shows. You know, For me, it's very important. I'm very happy and proud, and I will give my best. I'm excited. Fantastic. Brian, thank you. Best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, James. Uh, if we go to Dona Corby next, please. Hey, Florian, how's it going? I'm good, thank you. And you? Oh, not too bad. Uh, I wanted to ask a little bit about your career before boxing. You were in MMA, you were in mixed martial arts. Are you completely done with that, or do you think you'll ever step into the cage again? <laughs> you never know. When I, uh, when I, uh, when I finish my, my career with boxing, I hope I can go back in, in, in MMA, but uh, I had some injuries. And that's why I stopped MMA. I had an operation in my both hands and I, I couldn't grab anymore. But I, I never lost in the cage. I had seven wins, seven stoppages inside of one or two rounds. And I, before that, I was a, before that, sorry, I was a kickboxer. I've heard uh, Conor Ben say that he wouldn't mind, you know, lacing up the forehands gloves. And I know that you are, uh, you, you, you are, are calling him out. Maybe, maybe you, you, you get that done with the smaller gloves on. No, no way. He, he, he don't fight me with eight ounces, not with four. <laughs> no uh, so talk to me a bit about, so you mentioned you had an injury and, and that's why you, you made the, the, the move to boxing. Talk to me a bit about, about why that was and, and what got you into, um, into MMA in the first place. Uh, in MMA, I get because the kickboxing, but I had many fights. I win four world titles in kickboxing. I was really popular in, in Europe, but kickboxing didn't have a lot of fans anymore. The public didn't like it anymore. And the, the UFC was growing and became famous. And I saw, I say, I let kickboxing I, and I start the MMA. Like this, I, I go in there. I heard that, uh, that you have, have something of a friendship with Conor McGregor. Is that true that you watched the, uh, the Tyson Fury fight with him? Yes, I was one. Because uh, the guys of uh, Conor McGregor who are with him that protect him and his security, they are friends of mine. They are Albanians. And they, they stay with him. They are good friends. And they are all day together. And they invite me, I think, before eight months or something. When I had my operation, we stayed there like three days. Yes, we saw together all... All night we was together and we watched the Fury with Wilder. Because proper 12, the Conor McGregor whiskey was uh, uh, sponsor, is, sponsor the fight, this fight. There are some stories. I'm based in Dublin myself, so there are stories that circulate around Dublin. A night out with Conor McGregor is certainly legendary, isn't that correct? What? Sorry? A night out with Conor McGregor, a night uh, watching fights and, and drinking with, with Conor is, is certainly uh, something to be remembered, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. It's a, it's a big memory, yeah. Um, and, and are those guys MMA fighters, those security guys you're friends with? No. <laughs> they are uh, street MMA fighters. Yeah, I don't know, but no, no. They doesn't, they doesn't do MMA. But they are good guys. I want to ask, what's your opinion on this, uh, this Floyd Mayweather fight that got announced recently? He's fighting the, uh, the YouTube guy, Logan Paul. Have you heard about this? And, and what I, do you I make of it? That. I heard, uh, I think now is everything about social media. If you are strong in social media, you can do everything. You know, this is now the, the, the life that we are living. The, 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 the time is different, you know. The world is changed. And I think uh, it will be more pay-per-view than every other fight till now because the people love to see this kind of, uh, kind of fights. And Mayweather, he's not stupid. He's very smart. I think the, pub the public win. It doesn't. It doesn't make bad for the boxing. The boxing. The boxing win because many people will see. Will start watching more and more and more. But I don't know about kilos. How much kilo is Logan? I think it's much more than Mayweather. Is right? Yeah, fifty pounds. So about uh, 
In terms of stone here, that'd be about three stone heavier. Yeah, stone yes, heavier. exactly. That's why I can, I don't I cannot understand how this fight will happen. But <laughs> they will make good money. Um, you mentioned Connor a little bit. Do you reckon you'll ever get to to get in the 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 ring and maybe spar with him at least uh, in boxing or something? Do you think that that's something that's possible? With Conor McGregor? Yeah. Yes, it was supposed to go with him in a training camp after, before COVID started, you know. I was supposed right. to go there to stay for a one month with my friends, only for a boxing, because also Conor trained for a boxing fight. And, but with Pacquiao, isn't that correct? Yes, exactly. Yeah. But it didn't, didn't, didn't happen because of uh, this COVID situation that we all know stopped everything. What was that plan? He was going to do a boxing match first? Uh, yes. I think they was talking back then for a boxing match. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Are you going to be watching the Poirier fight in uh, in January? Yeah, yeah, 100%. Do you think yes. he's going to win that one? I think so. I think so. What's going to happen uh what's going to happen in in that bet? Do you think Conor wins by by a more spectacular knockout than he did the first time around? Uh, different. Uh, difficult. I think difficult. <laughs> Poirier is a much better fighter right now. I think he will Conor will will struggle a lot, you know. Conor is not the same guy I think that he was before two or three years. I hope she win. I hope she, that he will win for sure, but like with a knockout. As a as a fan, as a spectator yourself, which which sport do you prefer to watch boxing or MMA? I I love to watch boxing, but uh, if you were saying if if MMA was without wrestling, I'd love to see uh, MMA with small gloves. <laughs>